Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Scorpios, and this is gonna be for the week of the 14th through the 21st of January, 2024. I'll be using my fairy tarot cards. To clarify, I'll be using my angel tarot cards. So, let's see what messages we have for you, Scorpio. To all my newcomers, welcome, darlings. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. We're going to raise our vibrations. We're going to start healing. We're going to start loving ourselves. We're going to start doing self-care. We're going to raise our vibrations. And we're going to raise the vibrations of everybody around us. We're going to be the change that we want to see. We're going to do things with our, our heart and with love and good intentions. So, Scorpio, let's see what messages we have for you. So, Scorpio, this is for you. You got the six of summer. You're having memories of the past. I hope they're good memories. We got the eight of autumn. You're very focused on something. You're doing research before proceeding. Good job. Excellent craftsmanship. The eight of autumn, very focused on the details. The king of autumn, this could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn in your environment, or you just need to be, sir, you just need to be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything is gonna go your way. A good person or company to work for. However that resonates, please take what resonates and leave what does not. We got the King of Autumn. Then we have the Queen of Autumn. Oh my, this is the money manager. They know how to take care of some money. So I'm gonna say this is most likely an earth energy in your environment here. Be, be practical and respect be practical with respect on how to proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. The Queen of Autumn. That can be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. You got the Princess of Summer. A new relationship. Oh my, is that it? Okay. A new relationship. A compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. We got the King of Summer here. I would say this is you, Scorpio. Feeling balanced emotionally. And the King of Spring, my goodness, you might have some choices here. We got the King of Spring, a financial windfall, or this could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected, unexpected supporter of your cause. The King of Spring. You have the Eight of Winter. You have what it takes. If only you believe in yourself, okay? Whatever situation is here, you put yourself in it. You can get yourself out of it. You got the eight of winter. You're just lacking a little self-confidence. You can take care of business. You got this, Scorpio. You got the world. You see, I told you, brilliant success. Something comes to successful completion for you. All right. <clears throat> Yes? I'm recording. I know you're recording. I'm so sorry. I got the call. He wants me to come up there by 7 for a couple hours. And then tomorrow at 3. What time is it? Right? It's not 10. It's 6 o'clock right now. He oh. said come now or by 7. Okay, I'll give me a few minutes. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So All right. Okay. Pardon me for that. Okay, so we got the six of summer over here. Memories of the past. And I was saying, I hope they were good memories. So let's see what's going on here. On top of the six of summer, we have the three of earth, the power of creativity. We got the wheel and we got the sun. 
Whatever it was you were thinking about the past were good things. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. The universe was building something for you for your career. It brought you some good fortune and happiness. We got the three of earth. We got the wheel and we got the sun. You got some energy here. Beautiful energy. Oh my. And then the eight of autumn here. Let's see what's going on. The eight of autumn. On top of the Eight of Autumn, we got the Empress, we got the Eight of Air, and we got the King of Air. The Empress is about lavish abundance. The Eight of Air is about this situation you got yourself in that you can get yourself out of, okay? You just have an illusion of being trapped, all right, darling? You're just afraid to take action, but you can do it. And you got the king of air. You need to speak your mind with confidence. Or this could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Another energy here. But this is all past energy, okay? So we got the empress, we got the eight of air, and we got the king of air. Maybe it was a situation you had yourself in with the, um, with the king of air, you know, with the air energy that you thought you couldn't get out of, but maybe you found your way out of it. We got the King of Autumn here. On top of the King of Autumn, we got the Page of Fire, we got the Star, and we got the Ten of Earth. So the Page of, um, so this might be about finances here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Cause we got the Three of Coins or Three of Earth over there. We got the page of fire, news of an exciting new endeavor. The universe was working on something for you, something that's going to bring good fortune and, and happiness towards you. Um, it was going to bring lavish abundance or it did bring lavish abundance. Um, you got the eight of air there. That That's about a situation that you took care of and it probably had something to do with the king of air, uh, air energy. Um, the page of fire, you're going to have some new news about an exciting endeavor. You got the star card. You need to keep your eye on the prize and don't you stop. Don't you stop. You hear me? Don't you give up. You keep going no matter what. You got the ten of earth, unexpected finances. You got the page of fire. You got the sun and you got the ten of earth. Then you have the queen of autumn. <clears throat> queen of autumn. Top of the Queen of Autumn is Unity. I don't know if this is a marriage. I don't know. I got the Unity card here. Just do the right thing, okay? Whatever it is, do the right thing. You will find the balance. And this balance, you, you will achieve it very fast. We got the Unity card. We got the balance. And we got the Chariot. It's an important achievement that you, you that's coming, okay? Wait for the perfect time. You got the Unity card. Do the right thing. You, got, you gained a lot of knowledge. You have a lot of knowledge. You're going to find the balance and it's coming pretty fast. You got the chariot. Oh, then we got the princess of summer. A new relationship. Definitely a new relationship. We got a new relationship coming. We got the ace of water. We got the knight of water. And we got the magician. Whether you believe it or not, there's something new coming in here. And it has to do with love. Falling in love or a wedding proposal. <laughs> you got the ace of water. You got the knight of water. And you got the magician. You magical. And it's on top of the princess of summer. The ace of water, the knight of water, and the magician. Life is magical for you right now. You got the King of Summer on top of the King of Summer. You got the Ace of Earth. You got the High Priestess and you got the Four of Air. And you need to rest in a little bit, okay? You've been working really hard. You got the Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance. Oh man, it's coming in. You're seeing it. This could be in, in um, it could be from a uh, promotion. It could be from a new job. It could be something, but it's an inflow of abundance for you financially. The high priestess, you need to use your intuition about something in your environment there. I'm not sure what it is. You need to listen to yourself, though. Only you have all the answers, and only you know what is right for you. We got the four airs. Time to rest or take a vacation. Or you need to take some time before making that decision. And maybe you need to listen to your intuition before you make that decision. You got the ace of earth. You got the high priestess. And you got the four of air on top of the... 
The King of Summer on top of you. Then we have the King of Spring. Now, this could be a fire energy. <coughs> or a financial windfall. We got the Queen of Earth here, too. Ooh. You got to make time for those around you. You're focused on the money a lot, but you need to balance everything. You got the Justice card. You need to do the right thing, okay? You're expecting the worst. You got to stop doing that to yourself. When you expect the worst, the worst will happen. It's called self-fulfilling prophecy. You can't do that to yourself. That's a lot of negativity you're giving out there, okay? I'm here just to remind you, we can be positive, okay? We're going to change things around. So we got the Queen of Earth, which could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. I don't know exactly if this is the past. I See, I got, the, I got the Queen of Autumn there too. We got the Queen of Earth, a justice card, fair and just decisions. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Whatever it is, do the right thing. Set out with good intentions. Remember, guys, it's an eight year. And then the nine of air, you're expecting the worst. You got to stop doing that to yourself. Don't do that. The Queen of Earth, the justice card, and then you got the king here. You know what I mean? Oy. The Queen of Earth, the justice card, and the nine of air. Then we have the Eight of Winter. This situation you got yourself into. You got to make a decision. You got to figure things out. You're expecting the worst. Events are going to happen at a great speed now, okay? You're going to feel a little bit like this. But then you're going to feel balanced again. So whatever it is you're going to do, you're going to get yourself, you're going to get yourself out of this situation. You will. And you're going to do it with kindness and love. Okay? You got the Knight of Air, which is talking about events occurring at great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. And there's going to be a shift in your environment, most likely. You got the Two of Earth here. You got a lot going on at one time, and you need to make a decision. Maybe you need to consider a playful approach. And you got the Four of Earth. And I say that's feeling balanced. Good business decisions. Giving to those less fortunate. It also says um, spending or being too tight with your money. But whichever one resonates with you, okay? On top of the world, we got life experience. We got the five of earth and we got the three of air. There was something that happened in your life that caused you some chaos and confusion. It caused a lot of conflict within you. And then it was a broken heart and there was somebody else involved. And that really caused you a lot of pain. And you might still be carrying that around somewhat, you know? You need to forgive yourself, all right? Forgive yourself. Give your chance for this new love. Forgive yourself and heal from the past. You got the life experience. You got the five of fire. And you got the three of air on top of the world. And you got the ten of, ten of water. Happy family. You got the ten of fire now. You got a lot of work. You've been working hard. Remember, you had a card here that says you need to take a rest. You need to take a break. You've been focused and you've been driven. You got the Ten of Water. You have a very happy family life here. You Ten of Fire. You got a lot going on, a lot of work. You're feeling kind of heavy. Take that break. Accept help from others. Life can be a little out of balance. And you got the Nine of Fire. Whatever it is, though, babies, don't give up. Even if you have to take a break or find another way or ask someone for help, don't you give up. Not because it feels heavy now, okay? Don't you give up. Protect what you have created and have courage and believe in yourself. You got the nine of fire. You are resilient. Ten of water, the ten of fire, and the nine of fire. And you will have things to celebrate. Celebrate. You have things worthy for celebration. So, darlings, Scorpio, you got new love coming in? You gonna give yourself a chance? Don't rush into it. Be, 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 you know, think about it. Take, take your time. You're very magical. Oh, you got abundance around you, and it's coming. And you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe that all things are possible. Start taking care of yourself. Start loving you. Be the change that you want to see, okay, darlings? Set out with good intentions. I love you all. 
You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon.